In a little courtyard tucked away in Pimlico live two remarkable people, Tom, who lives upstairs, and Dolly, who lives downstairs. They live apart, not because they're not very good friends, but because Dolly prefers to sleep alone. Here's Dolly, a charming lady in every way and quite devoted to Tom. She knows that he is a lifelong friend of horses and that she is in good hands with him. He's been driving handsome cabs and four-wheelers in London for almost 50 years. There are few Londoners to whom his cab is not one of the sights. In a world noisy with jet planes and frantic with speed, there are still people who prefer to jog quietly along in a horse-drawn cab, who find pleasure in the clippity-clop of the hoofs, or as Tom might put it, in the ammer, ammer, ammer of the hoofs on the odd eye road. Tom was a well-known figure in Victoria Station Yard long before the first motor taxi spluttered its way in. He's forgotten more about passengers than most taxi men have ever learned. And here's one who appreciates both Tom and his cab. He's an old customer. Morning, Dolly. Slow as you like, Tom. Here we are, sir. This must be a contract job. Tom's not worrying about the fare. There's something else that Tom Robinson finds pleasant about owning a cab. He can settle down at the side of the road and share lunch with Dolly. But he'd feel a bit silly chatting to a four-cylinder engine over a cheese sandwich. Dolly seems to have become so human that she prefers spam to bran. But although Tom is kind-hearted and treats her well, He's not quite prepared to let her eat his sandwiches. Dolly may have her points as a horse, but she hasn't any BUs. Once her nose is well into the bag of oats, she's quite happy. The day's work is finished, and Tom Robinson has added one more day to 50 years of London's cabby's life.